Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made this gorgeous pop-up flower vase card. So this is what it looks like on the front and then when you open it up, this pops up. And how gorgeous does that look? So this is a 5 by 7 card and I've used the supplies that I got in one of my magazines i can't remember which one it was but i'll show you that in just a second so the paper and the sentiment and also the flower stamp set and the die cut is all from the magazine so let's get on and start creating this card okay so i've cut all my supplies ready all the measurements will be in the description bar below if you want to go and check them out so obviously we've got the five by seven card base. Then we've got this white piece of card that I have embossed and I've used this leaf embossing folder. And I've just added some twine around that. So that's gonna go on the front like so. Then we have these pieces here. So we have three white pieces of card and I've embossed them with that embossing folder and then I've just layered some of the pattern paper and this is from the Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue 241 and it's the free download papers that you can get and this is where we're using the um, floral stamp set as well. So I've laid all those three together and they will go on here and I'm spacing them so there's space between each one like that but I'm not going to add a sentiment because I don't know what I want this card to be used for yet so I'm not going to add the sentiment on there I'm going to just leave it blank and then for the inside of the card I've got two pieces of this beautiful blue card stock and then I've layered some white on top and they're going to go on there like so the cardstock I used was the Creative Expressions Foundations card and this is the colour Aqua. So I'm going to stick them down and then I will show you how to make the pop-up vase. Okay, so there we go. So that's the card base now done. So now we're going to do the vase. So for this, you'll need your choice of patterned paper. Again, the measurements will be below. So we're going to start off by cutting our paper. So just fold on those score lines. Okay, and you'll see here we have well I don't know if you can see you might be well no I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on there but anyway there's three squares on here and also this side one side so I'm going to fold this over so we can see we're going to cut up this score line here and also here so then you have these three flaps we're going to tuck that one in and we're going to cut off these two. Okay, so you are left with just the middle bit. The opposite side, we're going to do it the other way round. So again, cut up that score line. There and there. And this time we are going to tuck in these two. I haven't cut far enough on that one going to tuck in those two and cut away the middle one so it should now look like this so on these two we want to add the adhesive on the outside and then on this one here you want to add it onto the inside of your paper okay so that's what it looks like now with the adhesive on 
you're going to get your next bit which is the mechanism bit where we have that half inch score line you're going to fold that over like that add your adhesive on this side and we're going to place this into our card so i'm going to come up about one and a half inches from the bottom of the card so i'm going to come up and i'm going to line up the edge here where that fold is in the middle of the card but you don't want it to go right up onto that score line you want it just before stick that down like so it's in part added to our card then we're going to get this bit and we're going to turn it over peel off the adhesive on this so one. we're going to line up this edge here with that score line here so i'm going to place that on there in fact i'm going to lift that up so that i can see where that score line is and get it central that down so that's what it's looking like so far the stopper and this is going to go on here like that and we need to add adhesive just to the top and the bottom so you don't need to add adhesive in the middle because otherwise this won't move backwards and forwards so just add your adhesive to the top here so i'm actually going to turn it over get it where i want it and then i can place my adhesive like so Peel off the backing on there, like that. Okay, and then we're going to peel off the backing, and then I'm going to just lift it up to show you. So we're going to fold that over, tuck in those two pieces, if I can get it in there, like so, and then just fold your card over don't stick them down yet fold your card over and then press it down and then you just open the card and it reveals your pop-up vase so i'm not going to add the flowers on camera i'm going to just do that another time but what i did was i just stamped out my flowers three times colored them in fussy cut them out and the first one I just stuck to the card base. The second one I added some dimensionals. And then the third one I just curved it to the shape of the vase. And then I stuck it to the actual vase to make it, you know, look like there's a lot of flowers. And then I just added some Winkestella and some rhinestones. And yeah, there we go. So I hope that you give this a go like i said all measurements will be in the description bar below as well as the score measurements and um, if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button and as always links in the description bar below for any products used in this video until next time guys take care and i'll see you all very soon Bye for now.